Previously on Mass Effect 2, screw myself over. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Wake up, Commander. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Wait, Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... you're alive? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 Relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I've found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. They only told me last night. Welcome back. To the new Normandy. Service does not skimp on the polish. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. You still don't get it, do you? You're not in charge of this mission. I am. 
Operative Lawson makes a valid point, Shepard. Without the Professor, any encounter with the Collectors would result in failure. Hi, Trisha Helfer. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Shut that thing down. I don't want it on my ship. Have I offended? Shepard spent a great deal of time fighting rogue AI. Geth, mostly. Plus that incident with the Alliance's Hannibal system on Luna. Your distrust is Which is what Edie is based off of. mistrust of most humans. However, I am no threat to you or anyone else. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Galaxy map seems smaller. And we can read email. Yeah, the ship's less connected. There's four levels. Get to meet you by elevator. One including our room. And we can research stuff like that heavy weapons ammo thing we found on the last mission. Alrighty. Once all these cards clear. Okay, cards over. Okay, so let's go meet some people. Starting with Kelly Chambers. Aboard, I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> no. <laughs> let's keep this professional, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. So that's important. That means I don't have to go searching for the ship to talk to everybody after every mission. She'll just tell me who wants to talk. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Oh, you have a much more important job later on. I don't need you analyzing me, Yeoman. Yes, sir. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Did you just Asari, compare Quirin, our allies to Korean, dogs? Sumerian, Hanar? That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. You're fooling yourself if you believe Cerberus is noble. I'm sorry you feel that way. I hope time will change your mind. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Was it always so dark in here? Or did it just get darker in the remaster? Anyways. So, there's a bunch of places I can't go. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. 
until they get the right person. Um, I know I can talk to Joker. Oh, and Edie's here. Forgot about her. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a... And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. Reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, this seat is real leather. <laughs> Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? Okay, <laughs> Edie. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. It's kind of a weird symmetry that Trisha Helfer played a Cylon on the Battlestar Galactica reboot, and it was viruses that the new Cylons used to take out the colonial fleet when they attacked. Can't prove anything definitive, but it's a neat little overlap. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Yeah, that's how most of this conversation is going to go. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. So there's Joker. Have anything Commander. else? I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. 
Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. So he's got little clips for every squad member we'll pick up. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Yeah, about that That's it for upgrading the Normandy here. thing. We're not really going to be doing that. Um, pretty much every crew member has something that you can upgrade. Uh, but to have the Normandy as crappy as possible for the next game, yeah, we're not going to be doing too many upgrades. Now, this is Jacob's little slice of the ship. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. <laughs> oh, man. You're here because you're Cerberus. Don't expect special treatment. Understood. But not everyone in the group is hardline. I'm an employee because I believe in their current direction. Doesn't mean I don't have concerns about their past actions. Or some of yours. Fair enough. You watch me, I'll watch you. That suit you? If you follow orders and keep to yourself, we'll have no problems. Fair enough, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Commander, can I help you with something? Hmm. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. <laughs> the whole thing was hushed like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. We'll talk later. Commander. I kind of appreciate that about Mass Effect 2. Nobody just tells you all their life's problems right away. Let's see. Do not want to talk to Edie? What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. So, we pick up new guns. We can swap them out here. We can also do it before most missions. I forgot about this arc projector thingy. Um, but it looks like we only have one model of each gun so far, so... Not much to worry about. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, 
that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. That level of physics is way above my pay grade, but sounds cool. Alright, so... Can't go that way. So now instead of the whole Maybe ship being... A new message at your private terminal. I was speaking, Miss Chambers, but thank you. Team status. Okay, this just tells us everybody that we have and that we can get at the moment. So, the Warlord, Krogan, Archangel, a sniper, the Professor, Morden, the veteran, Zaid, we'll meet him shortly. Same with Kasumi, the thief, and Jack, the convict. Upgrades. Don't have any upgrades right now. Messages. Okay, there's going to be a few. Hello, Commander Shepard. Thank you for submitting your updated medical documentation. Your status has changed from deceased to alive. After deducting modest administration fees for closing the file, subsequent change in status and reactivation re of your account, you have a remaining balance of 10,000, no, 100,000 credits. Thank you for baking with the Ascension Financial Services. We look forward to working with you. Are you protecting your greatest assets? We will find the best life insurance rates and coverage to fit your needs. Who is going to insure me? Okay. Rendezvous with Kasumi from the Elusive Man. Shepard, at great cost and effort, track down the Master Thief Kasumi Goto. I convince her to work with you. Very few people have ever even heard of her, and very and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. She was a DLC character originally. Let's see. Travel to this Kara Ward on the Citadel. We're going to find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password. Silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Arc projector. That's the heavy weapon we just picked up. Shepard recently had an incident involving Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against Geth's scouting party. And credit their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I think it's self-explanatory. Electric gun, electricity hops from one person to another. Overlord, this is a DLC mission. One of our cells just went off the grid with an explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology. I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet AIT? IT? Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Yeah, we're not going to do this for a while. Because it, it's a rough mission. Recon hood. Occurred to our armor techs that you may not want to get your face shown everywhere you go. Sent by a hood that service issues to its covert operatives. Has additional micro frame functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Alright. Normandy crash site located. From Admiral Hackett. Imagine that. Admiral Hackett needs me to do something. Commander Shepard, our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you might like to see, the final location of the wreckage of the Normandy. We'll go do this mission. I can't remember if this is DLC or just... I think it was a DLC. Um, basically, we go down a planet, we find a bunch of dog tags, and then plant a memorial trophy. Project Firewalker, this is the new inferior Mako. We'll go grab that. And then Masani, another DLC character him from Admiral Anderson. On the off chance that rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You've put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Fair enough. Okay. Now, as I was saying, the ship isn't all 
one big area anymore. You have to get to everywhere through elevators. So let's go to crew quarters first. Now Miranda's down here. The cook is down here. He'll have a mission for us. That might be it for now. Oh, and I think there's one other person down here. That one other person is Dr. Chocolus. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising, even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. That might be misplaced. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you need booze? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I thought that she gave me a checkup, but maybe that's later. Um, let's see, there's Chef the cook. Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Is this the same voice as Udina? Just with a sounding a little bit less old? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands most of the time. A great this line. ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. <laughs> How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help, be that plumbing a sewer, Routing an air duct or keeping everyone's bellies full. 
He said that losing family line a little too happily. You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Aw, oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Nope. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. And then Moran is in my old room. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions, even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment, and a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. Encountered is a polite word for terminated. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement of the human race. Nothing more, nothing less. The Salarians have the special tasks group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. So, 
we've missed several of the iconic Miranda butt shots in that conversation. In the original game, for whatever reason, the camera, well, I can guess the reason. The camera was just focused on her butt instead of her. It was kind of weird. Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander, whatever you need. Of course, some of the, you know, more vocal insult community um, were very upset when we learned this change was coming. But I can get behind it. It was gratuitous. It was unnecessary. Down in engineering. Who's even down here right now? I think just Gabby and Ken. Alright. Codex for a drop shuttle I'll never read. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. So, I love Gabby and Ken. They're little bickering back and forth throughout the games is just hilarious. It's one of my favorite parts of this game. You came all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I didn't hear an officer on deck. I run this ship military. Do you two think this is all a joke? Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. <laughs> Won't happen again, sir. At ease. Who are you? I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, that weasel Udina backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Go Sovereign figure. as an isolated threat. As a single. Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. I love them. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'll have to think about whether or not I actually go and pick those up. I'm not sure if that I'm counts as a came down to see us. upgrade. Because if it counts as a Normandy upgrade, you're not getting it. If it's just something I get for them, whatever. Last place to visit. My personal cabin. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. 
Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. And we could have fish, and we're going to have fish, and they will survive. That's, that's what I meant when I said that Kelly Chambers has a bigger job in the future. She, you can get her to feed your fish. So what else is up here? I'm not going to turn on the music. It's all the same kind of terrible club music that they play. Uh, this is the same as the terminal downstairs. Achievements. Oh, it's actual in game achievements. I uh, see. And I probably played through this game three or four times before I figured out that this shower door opens. So I know if you flush the toilet and then leave. I thought that Edie chastised you for not washing your hands. Maybe I didn't do it fast enough. What's this area? For nope. This is Maybe that's in the next game. Quarters. Okay, let's get out in the galaxy. No messages for you, Commander. So we're in the Omega system. This is the relay that takes us to the end game. And this is a new thing. Fuel depot. You have to buy fuel uh, to explore the local clusters. Which is fine. You also have to buy probes, but we're not going to be probing too much. So, Omega is an asteroid station. It's a hub world. And then... To explore systems... Explore planets, you just have to orbit them, I believe. Yeah, so we went from 40% to 60%. So I've got no problem just exploring the planets, but I'm really not going to scan too many of them unless I need to for missions and such. I'm not going to mine resources just like the last one. Okay, so that's that 100% explored. Let's go to the Citadel before we head to Omega. So that is... where is the Citadel? Here. It's another pretty mass relay. Okay, let's land on the Citadel. It's a little fibbly. That's gorgeous, though. Seems like all the cutscenes got some love in this game. Okay, we only have these two, so that's fine. But that's about to change. Uh, points. I'll do points later. It's not important right now. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. 
and I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it. Wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. If the information's deadly, we have to keep it out of the wrong hands. Donovan Hawk is the last man I'd want holding this information. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Kasumi's a fun character. They wrote her really well. Hanar! There's a distinct lack of Hanar in this game. So there's a distinct lack of many species in this game. Every five seconds, the main gun this, however, is a great conversation. Accelerates one to one point three percent of light speed. It impacts with the force of a thirty-eight kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield that the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. Oh. 
Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... dead. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. This commander Bailey is a great You'll character, to too. Make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. I mean, sure, he advocates torture a bit, but you know what? Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My console says you're dead. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. Win-win. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I'm curious what the council looks like right now. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Admiral Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. Well, C6 Was that had a true? lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around, and I think I saw a quarry in the other day. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga concert hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Looks like I changed Head my mind. Head security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined C-Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. That's enough, Colonel I Kai. I should be going. Or Bailey. Need anything else, let me know. Lots of Battlestar Galactica people in this game. Okay. Okay. I'll press the thing to show the map and it'll make it go away. Jesus. Okay, so rapid transit's right in front of me. Let's go see. Well, let's talk to Avina, of course. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. The Alliance Embassy has issued a travel advisory for human visitors to the Citadel. Would you like to hear it now? Why not? Let me hear the travel advisory. Due to recent adjustments to the Council, humans may find aliens on the Citadel less friendly than usual. <laughs> Alliance citizens are advised to limit their time in non-human sectors. 
Group travel is strongly recommended. If you feel you are being followed or threatened, talk to any nearby CSEC officer, or contact the Embassy through the station network. That makes it sound like there are anti-human race riots going on. There have been 26 incidents of large-scale civil disorder aboard the Citadel in the past two years. Many non-human residents disagree with the Alliance-led restructuring of the Council, and wish a return to the status quo. That explains the tension on the station. Is the Alliance doing anything to calm the population? Any further information has been deemed inflammatory by the <laughs> Office of Information Management. Be advised that your inquiry has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. Oh boy. I, uh, yeah, I did some bad things. Yikes. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, Weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. How oh, charming. Sounds like a police state to me. The result is improved safety for all residents. Be advised that your statement has been forwarded to Citadel Security. If you are approached by uniformed officers, please cooperate fully. It's worse than I thought. Jesus. Um. Stores. Hi. Well, let's at least ask it Looks this. like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. They've suppressed information about the Reapers. Far easier to blame the Geth. A known enemy. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Avena. Huh. These never actually played a video and before. The Systems Alliance remain tight-lipped about the recent disaster on the pioneer colony of Freedom's Progress. The human outpost is believed to have been destroyed, with no survivors on record. Details are sketchy due to a news blackout. This is the latest in a series of frontier settlements lost by the Alliance. Shrine of the Akindlers plans a prayer vigil for the deceased. The Hanar maintain that the lost colonies are the Prothean's wrath after human explorers defiled a Prothean data beacon two years ago on Eden Prime. I don't think we ever see Emily Wong again. We see Kalisa Ben Seen and Al Jelani again, but never her, I don't think. Anyways, let's go to the council. They're going to talk about fish. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled. We'll crush their dreams later. Oh, I can change my party right now. Cool. Uh, see ya, Jacob. Because I have literally anybody else. Now. Uh, yeah. Presidium. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. It's been a long time, Captain. It's Admiral now. They made me Udina's chief advisor and promoted me. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the Council would be here for this meeting too. I spoke to Udina. He never listens to me. Ever since he got the seat on the Council, he thinks the star shine out of his ass. What did you expect? I don't know. But he should listen to me once in a while. An advisor isn't much use if you ignore everything he says. So he's an admiral, but his closed captions still say he's a captain. Should I pick? Yeah, I probably should have. They need someone like you on the council to get things done. I'm not sure I have the stomach to wade through all the political bullshit around here, Shepard. Couldn't do much worse than Udina, though. All he seems to care about is public relations with the rest of the council. He doesn't want to deal with the real issues. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refused to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. 
They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? They didn't really abandon me. They, I died. That's usually the end of your service. What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Udina and the others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it. So just plug like it back in. Crew were the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. The original council was made up of a bunch of blind, stubborn morons. The new council looks just as bad. It's up to you to stop the Reapers, Shepard. I can't even toss you a symbolic title like Spectre. Udina keeps close tabs on that designation. He's decided it's just an invitation to go rogue. Fine way to show gratitude for putting him in the big seat. I think I made my opinion of the Council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But it should be yours to refuse. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep You'll the make it up to me in the next game. Back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I'll have to make sure to speak with the rest of the Council and let them know I had nothing to do with you coming here. You know they refused to meet with the Commander. And you know they have good reason. There could be serious political ramifications. Anderson, I expect to see you in my office when you're done here. What an ass. Will Adina find a way to get rid of you over this? I should be so lucky. But once he cools off, he'll probably decide to keep me around. Besides, there aren't any official records that you and I spoke. And Udina will want to make sure it stays that way. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces have been rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. 
The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Well, that was a nice chat. Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Whoops. Okay, let's... Let's see. Lowest section is a Kara Ward. Here you'll find Seronis applications, Kara Warehouse, and Serta Foundation. Sure, why not? Let's just go through all the Citadel wards today. So. Oh, please play it. Now available yes! Sincere. You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. I, I love it. It's perfect. And they set this joke up in the first game. When you're riding the elevators, you can hear that someone has plans to do this. It's amazing. Gracias. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Can confirm. Talk to Kasumi. You know what I haven't had in ages? Ramen. My grandmother used to make the best ramen. Delicious. Thinking back, I really should have stolen her recipe. Hmm. Let's fleece some stores. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate, Cute. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth, you've got it. Oh, I don't even have to give a, my own insincere endorsement. Cool. Okay, so upgrades. So I'll buy upgrades for us. 
but for the Normandy, not so much. I don't think that visor was in the original game. Shield upgrade is really important, but man, things are expensive and I'm kind of poor. Tech power bonus damage would be nice. Okay, I definitely need the shields one. This looks interesting. I'll consider the tech one later. Let's see what the other stores have first. Let's see, I think that Volus is being racist against Corian, so we're definitely gonna go kick his ass in a minute. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and the group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Although I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. I could guess. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think... I well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. Quite. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please. Browse our catalog. Uh, I will. Metagel capacity. Also tempting. Ooh, increased health. Oh wait, this is a piece of armor. Uh, I still want it though. Metagel capacity. I'll pass for now. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immune. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vol Clan need. It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. And she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> She's um, definitely amazing. A I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with c -Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... You have to be rich to afford your own ship. It's great to dream big, but you should aim lower. Yeah, I know. It's just nice to think about. Flying at home by myself. Seeing my parents be proud of me. Huh. Right now I can't even afford to get off the station. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. I'll see if I can find out what happened. 
Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. <laughs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Well, I happen to know exactly where it is, so I'm just gonna go get it. It's not in Serta Foundation. It's in here. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. Please move along. No. You forgot your credit chit at Serona's Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Ah, oh, we got some money out of it. Uh, so... You can take the sky car everywhere? But... You don't need to, you can just run up the stairs. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Sometimes there's people with personal problems sitting in these stairwells, so it is worth running through them once in a while. Okay, another store to fleece. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. So, the high-grade provisions don't count as a Normandy upgrade, they're just, um, a mission MacGuffin, so we'll get them. And some books we'll never read. Now, who else around here has problems for me to solve? And there's another store. I think you have fish. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey! Everyone! Yikes! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, alright. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. Man, I'm a dick. Space hamster! Yes, okay. And some fish. And some model ships. Okay. It was all worth it in the end. Okay, this is a gun store, I think. Human. Turian. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Thanks to your kind. We store off-site and deliver directly to ships. Customers never touch a gun while they're on the Citadel. Make as many laws as you like, human. We'll always find loopholes. I'd like to buy something. Then use the catalog kiosk like everyone else. Tell me about your services. I sell guns. I don't think humans need any more than they already have. Fair enough. I understand you sell hunting supplies. I'm interested. 
Why would human scavengers need guns? They only strike when their prey is weak. Like that time the Citadel was attacked by Geth and you killed the Council. As I, I didn't kill you them, the Geth to killed them. The council. Sovereign blew right through them. Too bad your admirals didn't ask us for help sooner. At least you've got us here to protect you now. What are you saying? I'm saying that you're going to help me by selling these weapons at cost. Because you know humans are the best defense this place has right now. Fine. You've got it. Now buy something and get out. Pleasure doing business with you. Go to hell. I was probably there for about two years. Okay. Weapon damage. Increased ammo for some armor. Increased health for armor. That might be nice. A new sniper rifle, but I don't use a sniper and neither does anybody else in my party. Sentry interface. Ooh, more shields. I'll buy it. What's this? Increased power damage. Hmm. I'll grab this just in case. That's armor, it's cheap. I'll grab that just in case. I'll leave these be for now. I might come back for, I don't know, the SMG one. I think this is a game? Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. Hmm. I thought this was the one with the VI of me. Let's see, I think there's a nightclub up here. I think that's what's in there. You don't have anything. Oh! The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Hmm, how am I gonna play this? Police have been seen in Aljalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? Sorry, don't remember, don't care. But the people remember you, Shepard. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to abandon the Destiny Ascension, sacrificing nearly 10,000 lives, including the previous Citadel Council. Saving everyone only happens in bits. There will be sacrifices. Being in charge means making sure they lead to the greater objective. That's a reality shared by all soldiers, in command and on the ground. Don't you dare suggest I made that call lightly. I didn't mean to accuse... You're damn right you didn't. I won't let you disrespect anyone who gave their life that day. They're heroes. All of them. They deserve better than you. Commander Shepard. First human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Again. Um. Dark Star. That's the club. Does this door open? Nope. Alright, there's a custodian in here I think I need to talk to. About the fish. Yep. Then I can do for you. I notice you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind. Where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese gift shop. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the Wait, park. just accused her of classism. Aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. 
Do you know if there are fish in the lake? I get that question a lot. Those are okay, the only skip place this I again. On the station to get a live fish. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Florian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the conduit. They're coming in very nicely. Will do! Will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? We serve drinks. You want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is green. It guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. Anything else? I don't know how many we can do. Let's have another one. Or if this costs me money. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Vitarian ale. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. Never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. <laughs> okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincoff. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh yeah. Put more of the stuff in the thing where the stuff goes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this before. I hope this isn't actually a game over. Not impressed, eh? All right, that was, that was a thing. I don't think there's anybody else in here to talk to, but we can dan dance? Question mark. Yeah, the dancing in the Shepherd Dozen Mass Effect One is the best he'll ever do. Talk to Miranda. Okay, there's Miranda's prompt. Looking for a little R and R shepherd? It's a nice enough place. A lot nicer than Cora's den anyway. I wasn't sorry to hear they never reopened after the Geth attack. Okay, now where do I buy brandy? Here. Okay, that took way too long. Nice booty drop there. Okay. Um, I think we've explored everything. We just have to go. Crush some Krogan hearts about fish, and then I think we're about done. Okay, Kargish. I can lie. What do you want? Huh. Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Poetic. Ugh. A sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? Yikes. Okay. I overheard you talking about the fish on the Presidia. What, you mean there actually are some? <laughs> sure, I just got one. I have it with me now. I'll pay you for it. What, you don't think I'm hungry? I went all the way up to the Presidium for this. Why should I give it to a random Krogan? 
I'll pay you a lot for it. Oh, all right. It's obvious you really want it. Here you go. Aren't you saving that money for a new gun? Who cares? They wouldn't let me use it here anyway. Thank you, human. Many Krogan must have dreamed of this day, but I get to be the first. Did I just give him one of Seven my fish? fish? Guns are better than fish. <laughs> I didn't get a prop saying one of my aquarium fish lost, so I think I still have all my fish. Anyways, let's go back to the Normandy and see. Alright, let's see him. And then you gotta feed him. I think you have to feed them after every mission? Or is it every main mission? I'm not sure. If you don't feed them, they'll die. And then... Space hamster! Squeak. Squeak. 10 out of 10. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Sounds kind of gross, but... Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Curb anyway, the space racism again. there. You really came through. You're talking about my ex-girlfriend. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. And then we can talk to Dr. Chakas. How may I help you, Commander? I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Oh, Jenkins. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. Either way, they leave. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff. Joker will always have Vrolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. Things are a little woozy. Doctor sleeping them off. Whoa, they're way woozier than I thought. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, 
Hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. Batarian. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. I'm not really a specter anymore. I'll talk to your boss when I'm damn well ready. Then you'd better get ready. No one keeps Arya waiting. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Wonder how long we could have kept that back and forth going. No one keeps Arya waiting. Well, she's gonna wait. Nuh-uh. Yeah, huh? Anyways, let's pick up Zaid, and then that's probably gonna be enough for today. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business. Your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stick. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Alrighty, so next time we can do the DLC characters loyalty missions right away. So Kasumi and Zaid. So I think that we'll do that. So I'll see you then.